So if there's one question keeping everyone up at night, it is how do you use origami in space? No? Well, I've been wondering that, and so has BYU PhD student Shannon Zerbel and the people at NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab. That's the people who blasted the Mars rover Curiosity into space. See, NASA wants to get a 25-meter solar array up there to power satellites, but it's hard to shove a large array into a space rocket. When I say large, I mean gigantic. Shannon's solar array would be roughly the same size as one of these guys. To put that in perspective, you could walk across six whole lanes of highway and still not have walked 25 meters. This thing is massive. When it comes to space transport, finding room to pack everything is always an issue. Take this retired space shuttle. These old guys have cargo bays with a diameter of less than 9 meters. That's just about enough space to stack three of your pet elephants inside, but still not wide enough to fit an epic solar array. You can see the problem. How do you get a ginormous solar array up in the final frontier? This is where origami comes in. With the help of Robert Lang, an origami master who has folded life-size herons and proven origami axioms, Shannon and team folded and folded and folded that 25-meter solar array until they had a stowed array of only 2.8 meters. Not too shabby. With origami power, the solar array can unfold like a blooming flower, ready to catch the sun's rays. Once in space, the array would be the largest of them all, dwarfing those found on the International Space Station. Speaking of the International Space Station, the Space Hotel has the largest group of solar arrays in space, eight in total, which combined generate 84 kilowatts. Shannon's origami fashion solar array, on the other hand, would generate nearly double that, with 150 kilowatts. That's enough to power about 100 homes, or 2,560 watt light bulbs, or over 1,300 refrigerators. Hmm, maybe we should just keep the solar array here on Earth.